All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another quick little Channel CGE video. Today we are back on a miserable cold winter day again in this dark garage. Well, that was cheerful, wasn't it? Today we are going to be replacing the cabin air filter on this 2007 PT Cruiser Touring. This should be the same for all the PT Cruisers. But today I'm going to be attempting to replace it on this 2007. This is my mom's car, as some of you guys who follow the channel know. Lately she's been complaining that the heat kind of smells, it's kind of old smelling, so I figure it's probably uh, the filter. And I've always wanted to learn how to replace it, so we're going to do that today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, here we are under the hood of the car. Again, I'm sorry that the lighting is so terrible out here. I really need to buy a work light and I'm too lazy to go over to the other garage and borrow Bryce. but um, the cabin air filter is located under this at the base of the windshield, this plastic. Um, it's in two pieces, so there's um, this side will come up separately from that side. So we're going to be removing this half. Basically there are these plastic Phillips head little clip nut thingies. There's, I see three along here. And I think actually that's it. There's just those three and then it, it kind of clips in and you gotta pull up on it. So here's a closer look at them. You can see there's one, two, and then there's the third one down there. That should be all it takes. Oh wait, actually, I see another one right here. I guess that's it. So yeah, I just remove them real quick and then the plastic part here should pop right out. Right, it took a little bit of wiggling to get it out, but it came out just with a little bit of... Now we should be able to access the cabin air filter down in there. All right, and right here is where the cabin air filter is supposed to be, and there actually is none in there, as far as I can see. So that might explain why it wasn't too uh, good smelling in the, <laughs> in the car. So basically what we're gonna do is, this is the windshield wiper fluid here. Um, we're going to loosen the bolts. There's two there, and I think there's like one over here. Yeah, there's one there. We're gonna loosen them, and then we can kind of wiggle wiggle a little bit. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of fluid in it. That'll make it a little easier, but then we can kind of move it around and get the filter down in there. At least that's what the guys online said, so we'll see. Let's give it a shot. All right, got the bolts loosened up. Now this does wiggle around. This one was kind of hard to get to because of the end of the windshield here and stuff. So if you have like one of those uh, like twisty ends for the socket, I don't know what you call them. If you got one of them, that would work really good for going down in there. I did not have one, and actually just this, it worked okay. They weren't, they weren't uh, that tight that I really needed to be on them to get them loose, they came loose. The filter should go in here. Pretty easy, it just clips in here at the top, and then this pulls out just like that. It looks pretty clean in there. I was gonna, you know, like clean out if it looked nasty in there or something, but it actually looks pretty clean down in there. So I'm just gonna throw the filter in real quick and then we should be all set. There it is. Alright guys, so got everything tightened back down. This is nice and tight. Cover is back on the filter, and now I just gotta get the big plastic piece back in here.
All right, that's back in there. It just takes a lot of wiggling to get that in and out, but not bad, not bad job. Just gotta throw these little pins back in, and we are good to go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, job well done. Hopefully that takes care of the odor issue that my mom was having. Really wasn't a bad job to do considering that this is a PT Cruiser and PT Cruisers are never easy to do anything to. And don't hate on me for saying that. I'm allowed to say that because I own a PT Cruiser. Now heaven knows I love my GT, I love my GT, but it is a pain in the butt to do anything to. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little channel CGE video. I've been trying to film anything I do, even if it's just replacing a simple little filter like that. This time of year, there's not a whole lot going on with cars. I've talked about this before, but I like to be able to film any little thing that happens and hopefully make it a little entertaining for you guys and educational somehow until it gets warm out again and then we'll be doing more. So, as always, subscribe to see stuff whenever it comes out. Watch your uploads every Sunday. But again, thanks for watching. You rock. God bless, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.